Greetings, my brothers. Tonight I'm going to be sharing some secret information that I found out tonight about Kirk and Rashida from that hip-hop show. Because I'm like an undercover detective, but Kirk on the other hand, he's like an undercover brother. Literally, because he's the founder of D-Lo Entertainment, so it's no surprise that he entertained being on the D-Lo. I have documentations that will blow your mind, so please pay close attention throughout this presentation. It says here, on page 18, that Rashida stole Kirk from his first wife when Kirk found out she was cheating on him with Ray J. Then it says Kirk decided that he needed a new life, a complete change, a makeover, a new wife, a new family, and that's when Rashida quit her job as the rat at Chuck E. Cheese and started rapping because Kirk had connections in the music industry and he was once an entertainer himself. It says here, in 1989, Whitney Houston was one of the greatest vocalists the world has ever heard. During this time, she was at the height of her career, and she dated some of the most prestigious men in Hollywood. But later in her career, she became the poster girl for all of the right women that married all of the wrong men. Whitney was a trendsetter. She had all of her core fans waiting to exhale, and it's her fault most of those hoes suffocated and died. Her influence ushered in the roughneck era. All of the women that was worth a damn wanted a thug or a bad boy like Bobby Brown. The producers of Love & Hip Hop decided to resurrect Whitney's influence for their own secret agenda. It says here on page 19 that Mona Scott created the Kirk and Rashida storyline from the memoirs of Bobby Brown and even went so far as to get Bobby Brown involved with the show. Ladies and gentlemen, I have proof and documentation stating that Kirk Frost is really Bobby Brown. Now I need you to do me a favor and look at these pictures. Well, yeah, that's him. Yeah, you see it? Yeah. His plastic surgeon did not do a good job because he still looks the same and he has that nonchalant attitude even though he's cheating on Rashida, but that's his prerogative. He do what he wants to do. Now tell me why. Tell me why. Kirk just can't live his life. It's his prerogative, people. You can't blame Bobby Brown for humping around. He's Bobby Brown for crying out loud. Those plastic surgeons did a terrible job. All they did was remove the bags from under his eyes, but I can clearly see that that's Bobby Brown. There's no doubt about it. And Rashida isn't who you guys think she is either. Now take a good look at Rashida's forehead. There's something extremely off about that Oompa Loompa look on her face. I have proof and documentations proving that Rashida is really Ashley Minnie Ross from Little Women Atlanta. I know this is hard to believe, and a lot of you just don't want to believe it, but all I can say is, I got all the documentations, baby. Get it through your heads that Kirk is Bobby Brown and Rashida is a Oompa Loompa. Social engineering through the media is the reason why people make the decisions that they make. The same way they advertise this car every day on TV is the same way they advertise dysfunctional relationships on TV. Whitney and Bobby made it acceptable for women that can clearly do better to lower their standards just to be with bad boys. Mona Scott mastered this recipe and now I'm about to give you the ingredients. Kirk and Rashida makes it acceptable for women to be blind and not see that they are involved with a man on the D-Lo Entertainment. All the signs are there, but you can't see the signs because the people in power have your minds. But that's why you got me. You can trust my documentations because I've been exposing people for a long time and I never let you guys down. I have proof in the form of an audio tape to back up all of my claims. I'm going to pop this tape in for you guys right now. I grew up with this man. And he's hurt me. And it's crazy because he's also helped me grow to become the woman I am today. I understand that you Bobby Brown, but that don't give you the right to hurt me. <laughs> but when you hurt somebody and you dismantle a bond, that's the hardest thing to get over. Heartbreak is like the worst thing to get over. And I don't want to cry no more. I promise y'all. I, I said I ain't want to cry about this no more because at the end of the day, this is a lesson. But more than anything, this is a lesson for you. Bobby. For you to understand what you've done. You are the king of R&B. You are a father. And for you to do this, you didn't think about all the 
consequences of this. And not only did you hurt me, but you broke me. Rashida, if you decide to divorce me, every little step you take, I will be there. Oh, shut up, Kurt! Miss Charlene, this is my wife. This is my marriage. Please mind your business. I'm sick of you fucking with Rashida. I don't want to hear shit else about that. You and them and everybody who want to know there, to do it. okay? That ain't mine. I don't you say that. Know? Let me talk to Rashida. Uh, are, this are ain't you, even with you. This ain't even with you. You fine, can be excused. Fine. Are you the one that got me in with these motherfuckers? Then come on, ain't paying you no money to do what you doing.